Oh, so we have the reputation already um, from the previous generation, and um, during our time, uh, people already know that we're not we're not freaking chumps uh, also. So they, I don't think they could, uh, anybody will really try to uh, muscle in unless it's. Um, it's for within the, uh, the the organization within the ghost shadow that, that has uh, separate factions that like you know oh it's unfair I wanted I want uh, I want some of this you know you, uh, I want a piece of the pie if I can't get it we're gonna go to war civil yeah. war all that shit like you know the, the how the white tiger and the uh, ghost shadow split uh, during the um, during uh, the the eighties you know so but we don't have that type of pop, uh, problem when 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 I was uh, on the street during those years mm -hmm. uh, I was there. Uh, between 87, 87 to 93. So it was a good six year run with nobody messing with us. I mean, in the beginning, uh, it was, it was um, everybody that was from the Ghost Shadow, that was, that was somebody wanted to become a Dilo, wanted to take over and, uh, and carry the gang. Not many uh, guys have that type of, uh, um, how would you say? Uh, um, Personality? Power. Oh. Uh, don't have that type of uh, power to, to, uh, to uh, gather everybody and, and, you know, to follow him. Mm. Um, so Robin, my, my dialogue, was actually appointed by, uh, um, by Peter, Peter Chen, kids, I, um, so he, he was like uh, uh, official, you know. When when you're being appointed uh, uh, by by the the previous dialo, um, yeah, it makes it so much official that that nobody will you know uh, question your uh, your authority uh, 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 to be the leader of uh, Ghost Shadow. Um, but yeah, during my time, I I, I heard about them, the well, hop to and all that mm -hmm. stuff, you know, uh, hop sing jai and all that. But they you they they all in the West Coast in San Fran. They they, I, no, I don't think they ever stepped foot on 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 our turf. No, not at all. So I believe the first um, the first Asian gangs in America was in the West Coast, and then eventually it's it expanded to New York w with my immigration. You know. Um, so I just let's put it this way. Um, Twenty years ago, uh, one hundred fifty to twenty years ago, when they were digging the freaking uh, right. the railroads yeah. and the gold mines. Um, it was in the West Coast, and mm -hmm. that's where uh, uh, they they got a whole bunch of uh, you know uh, Chinese workers from uh, Southern China. So I believe you know uh, they were the first gangs, uh, and Tongs were were started over there in uh, in San Fran and around uh, California. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So there was never um, there was never any. Uh Like uh, conflicts with other, not not Asians, like other races in New York. Maybe little, maybe little things, but not like big, right? Mm. Like, cause Chinatown is right next to Little Italy, right? So, okay, let me tell you a story about uh, me selling fireworks. You know, okay. uh, you know, uh, during uh, Fourth of July, the whole Chinatown, Little Italy, Canal Street is all you know flooded with uh, people, you know, uh, kids uh, selling fireworks. And this is 80s, 70s? In the 80s, uh, before Giuliani. Okay. Because when Giuliani uh, took office, uh, he, he banned everything. Excuse me. <coughs> so what happened was, uh, um, you know that uh, Broom Street and Mott Street? Right around the corner uh, on, on Broom Street, uh, right, right next to the pizza shop, there's, um, there's a social club over there. I don't know which family it belongs to. Um, so they had guys selling on uh, Mott Street too. Uh, you know, the, the, the younger kids. I don't think they're made. Um, they just, uh, they're probably their uncles or whatever, you know, uh, kids from, uh, from, from uh, the family. So they started selling. Uh, I believe uh, Little Italy was Gambino's. Little Italy? That's what I think. On Mott Street, Raven Night, uh, all the way down yeah, uh, by, uh, by uh, no, but I'm talking about around the corner, uh, next to the firehouse, mm -hmm. uh, fire station, on Broom Street. Uh, there's another social club that that 
um, right next to the pizza, uh, pizzeria. So those guys also have um, um, people selling uh, fireworks to younger kids. And uh, let me see, who else? On Mulberry Street and Bayard Street, right across the street, uh, across from uh, from Columbus Park, there's a, there used to be an empty lot where they do parking lots over there. Um, it belonged to Picciarelli. Uh, the, 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 the guys over there is Picciarelli, Chinatown, uh, Carmine, Russo. Um, like, uh, again, I don't know which family they're from. So they had a bunch of... Um, we, we, I actually saw them and uh, um, uh, we uh, bumped into each other in uh, Owensville during, uh, during my time. Yeah. Um, they were actually uh, uh, indicted for uh, um, explosive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know which class they are, but they, they, they were doing some heavy time because of uh, the fireworks also. Yeah. Um, so those are, those, they were the ones that were supplying, because uh, um, they run the docks, the mobs run the, dock, yeah. the docks and, and, and the containers and the shipping companies. So they brought in all that firework from China or wherever the, wherever the hell they get it. So they had a, uh, they had a lockdown on it. Um, but they were selling on my street. Uh, they were sending their, their, their Puerto Rican kids, uh, black kids, and some young Italian kids, you know, selling on, on my street. At first it was okay, I don't, I don't mind, you know, it's fucking, uh, there's more than, more than enough fucking uh, to go around, you know, as long as you don't start trouble, you know, um, I'll let it slide. But there was a day that uh, I think uh, that I had a few kids that were pretty young, like around 14, 15, they were selling in uh, on Mott Street, and, and they got into a scuffle with, uh, with uh, Italian, uh, the guys that were selling for the Italian, uh, the, the, the families, a um, couple of uh, Puerto Ricans and blacks, and they told them that, hey, this is my spot, you can't sell it. You go, oh, when, I, when they came to, when those kids, <laughs> the, my young kids came to me and told me that, uh, uh, Yo, know, um, there's some black guys in Puerto Rico, Spanish guys told us that we can't sell on our own street. I said, what? Uh, fucking, uh, I was like, where the fuck do these people get the balls to fucking say that uh, on my fucking turf, right? So I said, okay, um, went to the mailbox. We have a whole bunch of mailboxes uh, that we have keys to and we uh, stash our guns in there. Um, so uh, when 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 the precinct uh, cops uh, patrol, they they want to do a search on us. Uh, they're not gonna find a gun on us. But when we need it, it's you know within uh, uh, reaching distance. So I went to grab my gun from the mailbox, um, grabbed a few more guys, and and you know went down to uh, uh, to Mott Street. I was always at, at, at Bayard and Elizabeth. Uh, there's a there's a coffee shop over there, Mei Wa. So I'm always over there. And uh, they came up to me and, and they told me the situation. I went down there with a couple guys, um, and I, we found them. And, they, and I asked them, "What the fuck did you say to these uh, to, to 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 my guys? Uh, you saying that this is your fucking spot? They can't sell here. You fucking stupid or something?" So um, they asked me who I was. I said, "You don't need to know who I was, uh, who I am." So I pulled out my gun and I told them, "Yo, get on the fucking ground and I haul you." So it was like three, uh, three guys, two black guy and uh, black kids and, and uh, one Puerto Rican kid, a uh, Spanish kid. So they got down on the floor, uh, uh, um, lay, uh, they, had their, uh, they had their face on the floor, uh, facing the ground. And I was stepping on their fucking neck. I said, you motherfuckers wanna die today, right? You, do you know who the fuck, uh, who this fucking turf belong to? You know, you're, you're on Mott Street, fucking Gold Shadows turf. Are you fucking stupid or something? So I smacked them a couple of times. I said, who the fuck you work for? All right, bring me to the people that you work for. So they bought, they got up, I let them uh, get up and, and then they walked, uh, they walked towards uh, Mulberry Street and um, on Bayard around the corner. And it happens to be fucking Picciarelli in them. And I, but I knew Picciarelli for a while and, and Chinatown and, and, and Carmine Russo. So uh, they kept on apologizing um, and then, and, and, and said that, oh, this won't happen. These fucking kids don't know uh, what the fuck is going on. So I let it slide. I said, you know, I mean, I let you guys fucking, you know, do what the fuck you guys want, got, got to do. You know, sell. You know, there's more than enough fucking customers. A lot of people come in from, from New Jersey through the Holland Tunnel to buy uh, uh, fireworks during, during, during the uh, 4th of July. I'm not stopping you guys, but you know, you don't, don't fucking disrespect uh, uh, 
uh, Chinese kids that that's selling it on my fucking block, you know, my fucking turf. I mean, you got to be stupid. You you got to understand where the f- you got to know where you at during that time. You know, where now you're those, standing. Those Chinese kids were regular kids, or they were um, they, they were, were gang just, affiliated. They were affiliated with us. They they, okay. they were hang out. Uh, those kids were all all hang out in Columbus Park. Uh, they're uh, near the funeral home. Mm. Um, I wouldn't say they were gangsters yet, but you know. Uh, yeah, coming up. Yeah, coming <laughs> up. They want to, uh, but I kept on stop trying to stop them. I said, ah, stop. You know, it's not, it's not that type. Of, I mean, I never chose to be, uh, never wanted to be a, a gangster, but um, I didn't have any. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, intention when I was a kid, and say that you know what, I want to grow up and become a fucking gangster. But when my father passed away, when I was ten, when when my father got killed, and when I was ten years old, something inside me uh, um, dramatically changed the way I was thinking. And and when I see young young kids, you know, uh, fourteen, fifteen, and they want like, ah, oh, I want to hang out, I want to be a gosha. I usually tell them, you know, just you know, go home. You know, I mean, you could come down and hang out and have fun with us, but. Um, I don't think it's okay for you guys to, you know, become full-time gangster because you don't know what the fuck is going on out in the street. Um, uh, you really have no idea. Um, you can lose your life in in a split second. So, let me tell you a story about this kid named Subo. Um He, it was. Um, it was during 1992, I believe. Uh, all right. He's a pretty cute kid, young kid. He was probably like around 16 years old. Um, at first, I didn't know who he was. Um, and he wanted to join a gang. And eventually, he, you know, start hanging around uh, Bay Arch Street and Mott Street with us a lot. Um, and he, he actually... Uh, um, Joined following Richie, one of uh, one of our guys um, that was in the same level as me, um, but came to find out that his mother, are good friends with my mother, really tight back in Brooklyn. Uh, they live, um, they live probably a couple blocks from uh, from where my mother lives, and. Uh, I went home one time to see my mother, and my mother told me, yo, you, you, you know this kid, Siu Bo? And my sister told me, hey, listen, he started hanging out with you guys. Do you know him? I said, oh, shit, that's, that's uh, that, you know, um, um, I know this kid. They said, oh, well, when you see this kid, grab him, bring him back home. I'll bring him back to Brooklyn, you know, send him home, uh, kick him out of the street, do whatever the hell you got, but don't let him hang out in Chinatown. Um, the mom already, uh, 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 he already lost his father, all right? Um, the mom is a young widow, uh, caring for two kids. Um, he also has a younger brother. So I said, okay, yeah, I, I promised my mom. I said, yeah, I'll do what I can, all right? Um, um, and every time I go down, or when, when I'm on the street, I see him, I, you know, I grab him by the neck. I said, get the fuck out of here, go home. Um, he said, no, I can't. I'm a ghost shadow now. I said, you ain't no fucking ghost shadow. You, you know, you, what's the purpose of you fucking hanging out anyway? Why are you down here? What, just because you want to look fucking cool? You want to look bad? It's not that type of life that you think uh, think it's so glamorous about. You know? um, I think you got it all fucking twisted in your head. They get that. It's fucking like, you know, it's uh, one of those uh, Chow Yun Fat freaking uh, movies, uh, you know, <laughs> with you fucking guns blazing and you get a lot of fucking money and woman. It's not like that, I. Um, I tried. I tried my best, but um, I failed. So um, he ended up getting killed uh, right on Bayard Street. Bayard <coughs> Street. <coughs> One sec. All right. <coughs> All right. So how he got killed was because of uh, there was a civil war uh, between uh, Bayard Street and Mott Street. Um, and, and that day I happened to freaking just walk down, uh, 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 went down to uh, Bear Street and all of a sudden I see a whole bunch of freaking uh, guys that I know charging at us. Um, that was uh, Gumpai. Uh, 
what's his freaking name? Uh, Kenny what? Uh, the guy that got that, that got fucking released from uh, from uh, MCC. That that that, that the, uh, one of the CEOs, correction officers, uh, fucking hit him, and he, there was a big lawsuit that that he won the lawsuit, and eventually, uh, uh, he got out early. Uh, he ratted, and he got out early and got sent back to Hong Kong. Nice. I know him. His uh, I always call him Gum Pie. Uh, that's the name that I call him. Uh, I know his name was Kenny, just uh, just like mine. But you know, um, but I don't know his last name. I, I, I don't I don't recall his last name. I, uh, so there was a civil war go, uh, during that time. They bum rushed us, and Silbo happened to be freaking at the corner, and and uh, one of the guys from Gum Pie's crew uh, had a freaking uh, um, those triangle fucking uh, metal filers. And they fucking stuck it right in his fucking stomach. Um, two times they pulled it back out and stuck it in him again, and and he died instantly. And yeah. You witnessed you, that? I, I didn't witness oh. that. I was all the way up at, up by uh, 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 Bayard and 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 uh, Elizabeth fighting fighting off the guys, you know, uh, uh, that that was charging us. He was caught on Mott Street, uh, closer to uh, uh, closer to Mott Street where where Hagen was was at. And uh, he he actually got stabbed across the street from Hagenaz, um, uh, on Bayard, right at the right at the freaking cross section. And the messed up thing about it is that I didn't know he got he got killed. So after that shit incident happened, uh, everybody scattered. Cops came uh, was coming down. Uh, the whole free uh, precinct was freaking charging towards us. Um, shots were fired. I don't know which direction. As long as I didn't get hit, I said, "Let me get the fuck out of here." So I walked up to uh, uh, Bowery and, 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 and Bayard. There's, there's those, uh, um, those uh, freaking uh, cab service over there. I hopped on a cab. I said, yo, Brooklyn, right away. So I went back home. So when I got home, uh, no, I didn't go home immediately. I went to my girl's house in, in, in Bensonhurst. And then, and then I think uh, um, early evening, like 8, 9 o'clock, I, I went back home to my mom's house. And once I walked in, I saw Silbo's mo mother. Uh, crying, right? I walked in, in, in the living room and my mom just charged at me and fucking just decked the shit out of me, smacked the fuck out of me. I said, what the fuck, mom, what's up? She said, see, Bo died. And my sister was telling me the story. I said, I didn't, I was down there. He, he, he didn't die, I saw him this afternoon. He said, no, he's dead. They killed him. Wow. And, and my mom slapped the shit out of me and said, you fucking promised that you were gonna bring him up. I said, I tried, but what the fuck you want me to do? Yeah. He, okay, you know, um, I brought him back to Brooklyn a couple of times myself, you know, uh, uh, personally. And he, I mean, I can't fucking lock him up 24-7. Uh, I can't be watching him 24-7. Uh, uh, his mom was fucking crying hysterically. And, and, and my fucking face was swelling too for my mom's slap. A couple, <laughs> she slapped the fuck out of me. Uh, um, yeah, so but, but that was pretty, pretty fucked up. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's like gut-wrenching. There, there was no reason for him to fucking hang out uh, yeah. uh, and become a gangster for what? Uh, Did you have? I mean, obviously, besides your uncle, uh, P, uh, Peter Chin. Kid, Kid Jai. Yeah, Kid Did Jai. you have anyone else you that was like older guys who were telling you like to get the fuck out of here? Yeah, don't hang Sasquatch. out. Sasquatch. Okay. So, um, before the '84, I was like what 13, 14 years old. I was. Um, I, I hang around with uh, the younger kids uh, from uh, from my uncle's crew, and every chance I have, I cut cut out of uh, school and and you know, hop on a train and go down to Chinatown. Either I end up in uh, Mayflower, uh, the Mayflower coffee shop, or Chinatown Fair, uh, the, the, the the game room, and you know hang out with uh, uh, the the younger uh, the younger kids uh, that was uh, a little bit older than me. And but I got caught by uh, um, by my uncle one time at Mayflower. He fucking he pulled my fucking hair, pulled him, grabbed me from underneath the fucking uh, the uh, the table of the uh, of the booth. You know? I was trying to hide from him. I knew he was coming. And then he he appointed uh, um, this guy, this fucking ugly guy. He's tall. He's probably like around six foot two, uh, two hundred something pound. Uh, Chinese guy na named uh, Sam, um, but he has a nickname uh, Sasquatch because he looks like a fucking Sasquatch. So um, 
my uncle pointed him and said, listen, this is your fucking responsibility from now on. You see this fucking kid, you grab him, and you take him back to fucking Brooklyn and, and kick him back in school, all right? You watch him, okay? You stay there and watch him uh, uh, and, and see if he fucking cuts out. So every time uh, uh, every time I go down and, and my uncle's not around yet, you know, uh, and Sasha must be coming up to me and say, yo, listen, don't make it hard for me, come on. You know, your, your uncle's gonna fucking kill me, so just just take a ride with me. You know, either you fucking go get on the train now or, or do you want me to take, take, you, uh, uh, take you back to Brooklyn? So, most of the time, he fucking he grabs me. Him and his boys grabs uh, grab me and and throw me in a car and freaking uh, you know drive back to Brooklyn. So he was the guy that what that that kid I uh, my my uncle um, appointed that this from now on he's your responsibility when you see him on a, in, in Mott Street. I, um, if he comes down there and and you don't do nothing, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna kill you. All right. And anything happens to him, I'm gonna kill you. So, so um, um, that was pretty fucking. Uh, that that was pretty fucked up to pressure pressure and threaten somebody like that, you know, uh, because of uh, you know a, a kid that's trying to fucking come down to Chinatown and and, and hang out. Yeah. Um, so what did uh, what so did your family think about you going to Chinatown? Besides, like your immediate they they family. had no choice. Like I said, um, they couldn't control me. Yeah. Um, I had a purpose, and when 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 Seal Bo died, it made me think about back then, me, you know. Um, but I was one of the fortunate ones that that kept my, you know, I I, I didn't die, I survived, you know, and that kid was just what sixteen, seventeen, you know, that's kind of messed up. Shoot. Let's put it this way. Gangs are fucking stupid, but it was a thing that we had to do back then. Um, back in the 80s and, and early 90s, uh, we, we couldn't defend ourselves if we, if we have uh, beef with somebody. We couldn't defend ourselves uh, on our own. Um, without anybody to back us up. And during those years, uh, I, w I, I went to uh, Shipset Bay High School. When I was there in the beginning, um, ninth grade, I was, I think I was, a, there was only two, eight, uh, two Chinese there. Wow. Um, and I never that had any like problems. mostly Italians back then, Italian, right? Jewish, and yeah. uh, uh, during that time in, uh, uh, what? Um, 83, 84, it was, uh, it, uh, it was um, Jewish, Irish, and, 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 and Italians, and, and some, some blacks that was uh, across the street from, uh, uh, from the projects. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the and that was it. 70s, 80s? No, that was uh, 83, 83, 83. Um, but then 84 coming, 84, 85, um, uh, the, there was a Freaking immigrant uh, immigration uh, from yeah. from China and and and, and uh, Hong Kong started uh, flooding into the uh, um, United States, and they they started be uh, you know first it was two uh, two Chinese and then um, next thing I know because I I I'm usually cut out of uh, class so I'm always uh, somewhere else not in class, and and one day I happened to. Um, to go to the cafeteria to eat lunch, and I said, "Wow, where the fuck did all these Chinese come from?" You know, and and the funny thing is that I never hanged out with Chinese before that time. Yeah. Um, that was uh, uh, that was my beginning of uh, uh, you know uh, regrouping and uh, with, with with my own uh, people. You know? um, started hanging around Chinese during uh, in. in in um, she was at Bay during that time, 80, 84, I believe, yeah, 84, 85, yeah. So that's kind of what started the the beginning of the gang thing, is seeing more of your Not really, people, not really, but really? I had more confidence, you know, because right. uh, um, um, there was a guy named uh, One Eye John. His brother was actually uh, a ghost shadow that was under uh, uh, Peter Chen. So 
we talked and, and you know we met and we talked and 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 he found out oh shit uh, uh, is your your uncle and this and that so we became close and we we formed a little uh, ghost shadow crew in in, in uh, ship Bay area uh, it was me he man um, um, one eye John Aquan um, shorty five of five six of us yeah um, so we formed a little uh, ghost shadow crew uh, you know uh, in, in, in within my school in Brooklyn you know and would you say you were there was bully from like the white kids or they were being bullied I wasn't I ne they never bullied me okay um, but maybe the other because I speak uh, but the other they, Asians uh, yeah. did they get bullied yeah uh, so I got kicked out of school because of uh, uh, trying to defend one of the Chinese kids um, so they were picking on him uh, in, in the hallway between classes you know um, I know one on one fight, I can't fucking beat. Uh, I can't. I can't. I don't have. A st I can't. I don't think I stand a chance against uh, 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 these Italian kids. So I jumped on his back and fucking smacked him in the fucking face, and I started running. <laughs> so I ran across the street to uh, to the projects where during that time it was the crack years. You know, um, the black kids were selling cracks. You know, and I ran uh, all the way uh, deep into the freaking. Uh, and they kept on chasing me too. Uh, the Italian. Where, 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 where a bunch of uh, uh, black kids were, you know, uh, with their fucking uh, boombox. And I said, yo, 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 I got a bunch of white kids fucking trying to beat me up, yo. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm a minority too, yo. <laughs> so they said, oh, come here, Chino, don't worry, I got you, we got you, right? So I stood behind them and, and, and uh, the black kids chased uh, the Italian kids away, you know. Um, but after that day, I had to carry a gun back, uh, back to law school. Um, I didn't know how to fucking operate a gun during that time. Um, um, uh, I got into an argument in front of the freaking schoolyard, uh, the, uh, the school entrance uh, with them. They said, yo, you, you know, um, you smacked the shit out of me, we're gonna fucking whip your ass, this and that. So I fucking pulled out a gun, and I think the, the security guard saw it, and the deans uh, and, and start calling uh, on the radio, start calling the dean and, and the other security guards. So I dumped my piece to uh, one of my guys, and he he left with it. But they grabbed me into the office, and they called the uh, the precinct, you know, the cops and everything, uh, and try to you know um, shake me down and try to get uh, you know where, where the fuck is the gun? You, know, um, uh, you go to jail, this and that. But they didn't lock me up because they couldn't find a weapon. But the dean decided to. Uh, uh, to kick me out of school and say, you know what, you can't, you can't come to school here. You can't be uh, with the ships at Bay uh, uh, a thousand feet. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta stay away from here. We, if we, if we find find you within uh, within the vicinity of the the school, we're gonna lock you up. We're gonna, we're gonna call the police and lock you up. We're gonna, uh, for trespassing or whatever. You know. Um, yeah, I got freaking kicked out of fucking school. Yeah. It was funny too. Shit, every day I had. Uh, seven o'clock in the morning. I have to. F I live on Ocean Avenue and Avenue. Um, I have. I leave for school before my mother leaves for work. I would run across the street to the freaking deli and hide at the deli, wait for my mom to freaking leave before I go run back up home, uh, back to my apartment. Uh, it was stupid, and then wait for the uh, wait for the guys to come and pick me up to to go hang out in Chinatown, wherever. You know.